My name is George McCary III. I was born 429-48. Freedom House was a, a strong inspiration with me. It was caused by position. I carried a lot of position with Freedom House. I was assistant supervisor on each shift at one at one point in time or another. Uh, I I learned from the best, Doctor Saffron, uh, Nancy Caroline, and also I had some strong individuals to help me out a lot along the way. Was a was a, a trying time in my life because I was young. I was full of oats, I guess, and uh, living in the projects was 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 it wasn't the, the best, but it was it was it was it was sociable, and uh, one day I came I came home late. My grandma says, uh, I got something to talk to you about. I told her, I said, I'll see you later. So she said, no, you ain't going to see me now. You got to go. I said, what's wrong? But I was trained not to argue with her. So I didn't argue. I said, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm trying to get some rest. No, you're going to leave and find find your place, someplace to go. Because I don't like what you're doing. You're going to find you a school or get you a job. So I said, well, being stubborn, the kind of person that I was, I still am, I guess. And uh, I called up a friend of mine, a relative of mine, Gene Keys. And and I called him up and I was telling him I needed a room. He said, no, nah, what's wrong? And so I, I put her on the phone. He, he, he told her, she told him that he didn't want a job. He didn't want to go to school. He said, well, listen, I'm in a class right now. They're getting ready to recruit. And he needs a place to study. They'll give him a job if he passed the test. If he don't pass the test, he can't get a job. But they'll send him to school and they'll give him a job. She said they would send him to school and get him a job where he could stay. I hung, she hung the phone up. I said, you know. I'm gonna do this, not to show you, not to not 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 to show you I can to show you I can do it, I'm gonna do it. Not not because I want to do, but to show you that I can do it. In nineteen sixty eight was a mess. As you know it, as as I know it, and you know the times. The times of nineteen sixty eight when they was a they was assassinating folks, and then, you know they, they we we got there before the when the, the drug epidemic was was going on, but it wasn't going on as strong as it was in the, in, the, in the early seventies. But we got there before, and it seemed like you know, and our training it seemed like it started before that. That you know, folks was just you know they was they was having a lot of. Uh, uh, seizures, epileptics, all over the place. Uh, there was, there was, there was the drugs. When the drug era started, it, it got worse. You know, it was a lot of alcoholics then from the steel mills and stuff. You know, you got a lot of, a lot of people that was, you know, depression and set out to a lot of, to a lot of people from, from the, from the meal and stuff and. There was a lot of money running run around, so you couldn't tell, you know, because people was happy. They was eating. But, you know, was, in the 60s, you got to realize how it was. It was it was heavy for everybody. You know, money, money, the cost of everything was down. Money wasn't worth as, as, as it is now. We came in with vital signs. We came in with, with, with issues that, that the doctor could build on. You know, that, this is what quality that we came in. We didn't, we didn't handcuff nobody. We didn't throw nobody in the back of the paddock. Where, where, where we safely put him in, put him in our vehicle. 
we had we had we had a technique about everything. Well, you know, it's so funny how Nancy Carroll, I mean, not Dr. Safter, he's he was one of our first lecturers. And uh, you know, he, him and Phil Howland used to come in into the office and sit with us all the time. And then, then they started taking us on drills and, and taking us upstairs on lectures. Him and Dr. Don, Don Benson was, you know, we had, uh, we had a, a direct, uh, re, uh, reaction from them, you know, what I mean, and, which was a, a really inspiration. If, but we, it was strong trying to connect with a guy like him, you know, what I mean, he, he, he had a foreign ac accent, you know, he talked more, more or less like me, and he had to get around to the subject, you know, what I mean, but when he when he, he got to, to the subject matter. What you got out in the field, you you you, you felt it. Caroline, Nancy Caroline was was so unique. She actually made us the first responder. I feel. We, we, see the way we used to get our our, our calls was through what they called a hotline. So she go when she went on got a scanner. And we started, we started sitting there, listening, listen to the scanner. Every time we heard man down in our area, we go to the call. We beat the police there. You know that was our that was our issue, trying to beat the police. There. We beat the police there. It was an issue. If the issue wasn't wasn't you know vitally mon uh, uh, we monitored and we 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 let the police handle or, or we or, you know or we got it handled. But you know, it was so unique how 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 we get certain calls and certain calls we wanted, you know, and when we hear about she hear man down, we 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 be we was on her. This is this is long before, you know. They, they had nine eleven. They had the, we had like we said we had the hotline, and uh, and we 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 would actually chase trips off the off the scanner police scanner you know which was really you know strange to everybody because they didn't want they really didn't want to do it but when she said jump we jumped she was a strong individual when she she wasn't she wasn't a kind of kind of person that that swore and 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 fussed, uh, uh, but she was she was mildly mannered, and she she was she was she would do things so uniquely to you know just it was it was charming more than anything else. I remember we went in the house one time, me and her and I, and we was going in the house, and the guy said, "What's this white lady doing and coming here?" I said, "No, she's part of our team. She's part of." The team. He said, "I don't want the white." She said, "Listen." I don't care what you want. Get out of my way. We're not here for you. <laughs> we're there for, we're here to the patients. As we moved them all the way and out the way and went on took care of business. They just they just pushed me aside. I, I, they knew it was just something. Then they said, Well, here's what we'll do for you. We'll we'll put you to put you you gotta go back to school. So they, they put me in community college. We was in the community college, and I just couldn't get settled, you know. Well, I'm accomplishing. I, I'm, I'm most proud of accomplishing that I learned something that is so valuable, you know, and I was part of a building block of something that became ultra valuable. This is this was a scheme that gives me that I was doing something that I didn't realize it was was gonna was gonna be this valuable in life, but it it saved life. 